Uh, my group and I were responsible for creating the look and feel of the app and overseeing the development of it, and making sure that it was easy to use, consistent, and was something that was very customer friendly. The goal for our team was to make sure our customers got the full product that we have on our television service on our Optima map. So the app works on a number of devices. It works on Kindle Fires, it works on iPads, it works on iPhones, iTouches, I think over 150 Android handset phones. So it's really available on most of the major devices that people have in their homes. First and foremost, live TV. The entire channel lineup available to stream to all these devices. The mobility and the convergence and being available on all your devices in your home is really exciting. You're going to have access to the entire on-demand library. So we have our entire video on-demand library available on the application. You can take it out of your home load the app and get connected to your television service across a whole bunch of Wi-Fi access points in our region. You can start playing on your TV and stop and then continue on your device. You have the ability to manage your DVR, so set up recordings, uh, schedule, change, manage, delete, all that type of thing. I don't think people really record 10 things at once, but they have that capability. Search is probably one of my favorite applications on the app other than watching TV because it's easy to find things and I don't have to wait to see what I want to see. And then from there branch off into, I'd like to record it, I'd like to watch it now, I'd like to put it in my cart for later viewing. And then finally, a, a sort of what we call a virtual remote control. So you can use the application to control your television, to program your DVR, to watch content. It just makes the whole experience uh, easier and fun. Watching TV on these tablets and other devices is kind of new. People use the apps a lot, and in many ways they sort of become the second TV in the home, but in a much more convenient way. The creative process for, for building something like this is a combination of understanding technology and what it's capable of, and then it really requires you to understand people and how they use our products. Everyone on the Optimum team designs and develops with the customer in mind. Sometimes the user experience is not just making it look pretty, but it's making it as efficient and effective and compelling as possible. We partner with the engineers to say it has to be as elegant technically as it is visually. Most of the time, these things start out as just an idea. A couple of people talking about something, saying, hey, well, maybe this could work, and maybe this could create a better product or service for our customers, or make a current product better. Sometimes an engineer will come to us with amazing technology and we'll say, geez, we could turn that into something customers would love. Uh, other times you come up with an idea and you say, gee, I hope there's a way to build this because it would be really cool. It's actually been pretty great to work in an industry where I can take things that, that give me the most pleasure and turn them into to worthwhile products. So I, I'd like to think when I'm building and designing something like the Optimum Maps that my love of good media and good design and good technology all kind of coalesce. And, and hopefully you see that in the apps. There's a temptation to add a lot of bells and whistles and features, but, but again, if you're focused on the need of an app like this, it's, it's to find content. People love TV, they love to watch their shows. Anything we can do to make the selection and discovery process faster and more enjoyable is our goal. But if you can take this incredible product offering we have and make it available wherever you want it, I think that's pretty great. As time goes on, there's less and less sort of appointment viewing when people watch when the show is on because people don't have the time to sit and watch TV, so when they have an hour or two free, they want to watch something that's going to be as satisfying or enjoyable as possible. You're always sort of innately on a trajectory to the future and you're trying to stay one step ahead of it. There's a quote from Wayne Gretzky which is, don't skate to where the puck is, skate to where it's going. You don't want to just work within the present tool set, right? I mean, it, you have to always push and I always, you know, sort of challenge my team to not just work within the boundaries of what we know we can do today. People want to be able to see content in ways that we didn't think about 15 years ago. Put it this way, some of the things we deployed in the last year, I think I started working on conceptually about 20 years ago. Creativity is an interesting thing, right? I mean, you have to be open to new ideas. You have to be able to know that you're going to adapt and adjust and, and just, you know, finesse something like a craftsman until you've got this wonderful thing that you can be proud of. To learn more about the features of the Optimum app, or to download, go to optimum.net slash app.